going to St Ives. Living or dead? Oh, that's right. <laughs> no, I think it's <laughs> providing they're on time. Doctor they they are going to we'll take me on a sleigh ride. Right. Um, it's very, very direct. No, I don't like yeah. travelling on a train, but really I don't drive. That's two questions. I've got to go. Okay. Oh, no, fair enough. No worries. Thanks for coming my friend's birthday so we thought we'd you know be a change in jumping in the car and uh, um, so it'd be much more interesting isn't it um, maybe I might just go to the I don't know um, anywhere in the world maybe not we start in Take that opportunity. <laughs> We're going to um, pick up a car. We're going to pick up his new car. Yeah, in the garage <laughs> in um, Henry. Yeah. 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 Specific. Yes. No. <laughs> um, let's say. Let's say. Columbia. Well, I've come from Hampshire, but I'm um, going through um, Exeter, from Exeter um, through to start Henry Exeter. Okay, and why are you travelling today? <laughs> We're going to pick up a car. We're going to see Pipes. I've got to be in Henry. Processing at the uni, um, yes. photography processing and printing, and uh, there's a few parties going on. friends' birthday. Oh. So we thought we'd, you know, be a change than jumping in the car and... Uh, so it would be much more interesting going on a train. Sit back and let the train take the train, as I say. <laughs> I oh, love wow. travelling on a train. I, no, I, I, I love tra- like not travelling on a train. train but like the big trains, I like, yeah. I, 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 I only passed my test in April. Before that, I had no choice to travel on a train. Now I prefer going in a car, because cars are still quite a novelty for me. I don't travel much these days, but uh, when I was younger, it's the only way of getting around at times. Oh, I think, providing they're on time, and I think they are better now to be. Um, it's a very direct and fairly quick service and relatively inexpensive. luggage space was jam-packed as well and the aisles were hard to get down and uh, a woman got on the train took my mother's suitcase from the luggage rack and put it on the platform so she could get her suitcase in luckily my mother had a knitting sort of shoved in the sort of pocket of her suitcase and my daughter spotted the knitting and said, Granny, is that not your suitcase on the platform? And yes, it was. So if she hadn't have spotted the knitting, the train would have gone off leaving my mother's suitcase on the platform. Last week, I think it was, I uh, was on my way back from Bristol to Taunton and um, I had a very unpleasant experience with a ticket conductor who um, was incredibly irrational and um, rude. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was, that was quite frustrating. Oh, no, look, major um, and if, if this train that's coming to take you to St Ives today yes. can take you anywhere in the world yes. and someone oh, yes. waiting for you at the platform and you're like, where would we go and you would have to go um, And if the train that's going to pull up at 20 pounds um, could take you anywhere in the world and anyone could be waiting on the platform for you when you're where would it take you to take that person? That's a difficult question. <laughs> oh, that is a full of question. That's that's a question, that, isn't it? That's a question. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. if I could... Uh, I could go anywhere. Italy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, to me, no, my, like my wife. Uh, maybe not. Um, maybe she I might just um, go yeah. to the Isle of Wight and live and see okay. my mum as it's her birthday <laughs> in a couple um, of days. But if I, you sit anywhere in the world... Uh, 
I just I may take that opportunity and go to the press. Um, anywhere in the world, oh, I feel like I would oh, have to be a see. I think I might go to Bora Bora. One of the uh, Oriental Express yeah, trains. Yeah. Oh, you can get there by train. Maybe to somewhere no, like uh, I, India. Uh, no, I would go near a cold. I'd um, really... Oh, I did, that's such a hard and, uh, question. Oh, that's a, what do you do? Who I would like to be known. Barbados. Um, no, I've been there. I've been there. No, 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 actually, I'd like to go to the gurus or something, or something like that. And, and waiting on the island would be... Um, Diana Vickers. I knew you were going to say I'd like to go to... I'd like to go to... Probably Moscow. Who have you waiting for you, Charlie? That's a harder one. Are we all dead? Um, <laughs> oh, Dr. Okay. Shivok. Take me on a snake. I think you're with me. Dead. Someone historical. Oh, okay. I quite have one to me. Nixon. I, just used to, I studied American politics. I was just going to ask him about what he did. It's <laughs> 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 historical and it's a bit less okay. than the kids. <laughs> I mean, that's popular culture. If you wanted to go into like, oh, I don't know, I was, I was trying to be like, down with the kids. But I was trying to be kind of intellectual. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's say, yeah, let's I have say, more common than Dan Vickers. Yeah. Columbia. That's not um, <laughs> um, <laughs> with, uh, I don't know, with him, with Max. He's here. <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs>